Hello, everybody! Welcome back to a brand new Super Mario Bros. Wii stream. This is episode 57 of the 100% completing every single 3D Mario game. No, Funnel Cake. Shlikey my dishlike quackily. 100% completing every mainline Mario game. Where today, we're gonna be playing the rock level. Because I made a funny pun. I said this game rocks. Get it? Get it? It's funny. Anyway, the reason why I keep calling this, uh, 100% completing every 3D Mario game is because that's what the challenge started as. Um, for like the first 20 episodes, I was only gonna be 100%ing the 3D games. But then, like, later on, I decided to expand it to every Mario game. But for some reason, my brain won't update, and my brain still says every 3D Mario game, when in reality, it's every mainline game. But anyway, anyway, I digress. So... Here we are in the rock world. Uh, no, I'm just gonna do the original Super Mario Bros. U and Luigi U. Because I'd, I'd like to play for the Wii Remote, for the novelty of it. The rock world is one of my favorites, too. The, the, the latter half of new Super Mario Bros. Wii is the best. Like, uh, world 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 isn't that good. I think my favorite worlds in the game are 3, 4, and 6. <clears throat> I remember raging at the Ludwig boss fight in World 7. When I was a wee lad. When I was but a fawn. Yes, I am going to have to get gold in every challenge to 100% it. And that's gonna be a lot of fun. For sure. Totally. A, a wee lad, that's so funny. Ah! Okay, stop dying, Mario. There you go. These bullet bills really need some gun control laws. I can't reach. Maybe if I jump off of one of them. And we wait. Oh, that's too high. Do, 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 do. Is it me or is my mic different? Do I sound different? Nice. Um, I'll listen to myself. I did have an issue with my microphone. My microphone, like, fell apart. Uh, and my dad had to reassemble it. Like, my, like, m the boom arm that my microphone is on, like, completely came undone and, like, fell down. My mic is glitching? Really? Well... You sound like a deer, okay? I will listen to myself to make sure I don't sound weird. Let's see, how do I sound? Clearwater Cabinetry in Kernersville. Clearwater Cabinetry in Kernersville. Places the highest priority on providing quality cabinetry with personalized service. Your project is customized okay, blah, blah, to your blah. needs and we'll guide you step by step through the entire process. Stop by our showroom or visit clearwatercabinetryllc.com. Oh my gosh, would you stop? Nice. Um, I'll listen to myself. I think I sound very I normal. 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 I think I sound very normal. <laughs>
think that was pretty beautiful. I think that was 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 Well, anyway, I think I sound the exact same. So that's fantastic. All right, Mario. Oh, hi, Vangzilla. What was that? Um, I, I, I can't really explain. It's just the thing that I do sometimes. I can't explain. I just gotta do it. It's a thing I gotta do sometimes. Just something that I gotta do. Mike works ears broken thou. Thou ears shalt split into many a piece. Whoopsie! This reminds me of Ye Old Mountains from from Super Paper Mario. When did Super Paper Mario release? Ugh. Ah! So much for that. Did, did Super Paper... No, I've not tried Pretendo. Did Super Paper Mario come out before or after this game? When did Super Paper Mario release? 2007. Wow, April 9th. Oh, that was just two days ago. I can't believe I missed it. The, the anniversary of Super Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario is my favorite Wii game by far. Better than Galaxy, hot take. But, yeah. So, the game is how old now? It's 13, it's, it's 17. In one more year, Super Paper Mario will be an adult. Oh no. Awesome. Anything in this beautiful pipe? Looks like something. <coughs> I see what we're supposed to do here. Oh no, I messed it up. Well, I got uh, the majority of the money, I think. Oh my gosh, the Wii is going to be of legal adulthood. That's crazy that new Super Mario Bros. Wii came out three years into the Wii's life. That's kind of crazy. What took it so long? Wait, when the Wii released in 2006, right? November 11th, 2006, right? November 19, 2006. What took so long for a 2D Mario game to appear? Why, why, why did it take literally three years for there to be a Mario game on, I guess, a 2D Mario game? Oh, there's the thingamabappy. The star coin. Honestly, I'm 16 too, but I have more memories of the Wii U than the Wii. Specifically, Minecraft Wii U Edition. I have so much nostalgia for that game. Now, how do I get up there, exactly? Gotta, like, get the bullets to come. It's not gonna work, though. They're too low. Hmm... I might just have to come back with the propeller shroom. Like, I played so much Minecraft Wii U Edition. Like, that was my game. Pop, popped, pop. D does Drip Jack have memories of the Wii U? Wow!
3DS Minecraft. I was never really big into Minecraft 3DS edition, despite owning it. Half of my brain has been formed by Wii menus. Oh, this is a fun level. Yes, finally someone addresses me by Royal King Deer instead of Catboy Uwu. I feel like my honor is finally respected. You played Zombie U at age 10? I'm still too scared to play Zombie U. How in the Florky? You should do a young Drip Jack reveal. Oh, wait, and I still need to go back to the other level with the propeller. I forgot about that. You're bored. Then why don't you make yourself useful? You should uh, ask your parents what chores need to be done around the house. That's what my that's what my mom and dad always said whenever I said I was bored. They would see, well, what can we do to make you not bored? Let's put you to work. Flowers blooming on my antlers. I, my, my antlers are not soil. The flowers are not supposed to bloom there. Oh, I messed it up. Whatever. That works. I was trying to throw the Buzzy Beetle shell upwards, but that works too. I don't think being bored is healthy. I think you should always have some kind of like stimulant. Except when you're trying to sleep, of course. It's never good just to like, in my opinion, to just like sit around all day and like mindlessly do nothing. What'd you do today? Well, I just sat on my butt all day and watched TikTok. Like, I'll never understand people like that, because there's a bunch of people. That's like... Real life in PC, and I, I feel bad for them, because like... It, it doesn't seem like much of an existence to me to just like, do nothing all day. You cleaned outside. Well, you're still bored. Surely something else needs to be cleaned. What about your room? Is your room clean? My room is in a con continuous and perpetual state of uncleanliness. Though, back in the day, I would, um, I would put on, uh, I Want to Break Free by Queen, and that's what I would clean my room to. The reason why I played that song specifically is because the music video, I think, has Freddie Mercury dressed as, like, a housewife, and he's, like, vacuuming the floor. And so I always listen to that song whenever I cleaned my room. Back when I was, like, seven, the only bands I knew of were, like, were, like, Journey and Queen, and that's it. I don't know why. I knew a bunch of 80s bands and nothing else. Okay, well, there's a star coin over there just, like, taunting me. I think it's alright to live in the past. As long as, you know, you don't live too much in the past. It's okay to, like, retro stuff. Just, like, don't- don't be one of those people that, like, peak in the- in, like, the 11th grade. You'd be, like, a- like, a 50-year-old, like, grocery store clerk and you're like oh man i remember i remember my glory days when i when i got that one touchdown in high school 
This almost reminds me of Wet Dry World. Okay, well, clearly I missed the star coin. Can I go back? Oh no, I'm trapped! Well, so much for that. Another level, only two thirds completed. Mario time! Yeah, you get it now. It rocks. Would you eat your own deer species? No, I would not, in fact, engage in that activity. Number one, because cannibalism. Number two, because vegetarianism. Number three, because communism. Number 18, Burger King foot lettuce. Awesome. I'm just gonna like speed run to the end. Go! Pop, pop. <laughs> What do you mean, Venison? What? It, have you even had it before? Ah! Okay. We're chilling. Pop, popped, pop. Oh, was I supposed to go up here? Oh no! Okay, well, first I'm gonna find out if I was supposed to go up here. Do 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 do. How do I even get up there? I'm just gonna reset. If you were stuck in a basement, how would you escape? Basement is made out of concrete. And door is a floor of chains. I would, I, well, if that's my only restrictions, then I would grab a phone and call 911. I would also make a YouTube video about it and go viral. I was kidnapped for 24 hours, and this is what happened. Well, 24 hour challenges aren't really trending anymore. It's now the 40 hour challenges, or no, the 50 hour challenges are what's trending now. Why would you want to eat rocks? Have I told you guys about the stone soup story? Well, even if I have, the, the new guys don't know about it. So, in second grade, I don't know if you guys have ever read the classic book Stone Soup. But it's basically about these, like, I don't actually remember the plot of the book. But if I remember correctly, it's like... It's like, a bunch of poor people can't afford real soup, so they make stu soup using rocks instead. And it like, brings the entire community together, I guess? I don't actually remember what the plot is about. But I think that's what it is. And anyway... After we read the book in second grade... Well, I wasn't in second grade. I was in first grade when this happened. But... Um... They didn't do it in second grade for me because of what I'm about to tell you. But it, every second grader would read Stone Soup, and then they'd have to actually make Stone Soup in real life by, like, like getting, like, chicken broth and, like, putting it in a cauldron and, like, literally putting, like, rocks from outside into the soup. 
And then they'd have to eat it. Um, not the rocks, of course, but the, the, the chicken broth. But I was in first grade when this happened, and apparently some kids were, like, messing around, and somehow they dumped the, the cauldron of boiling uh, chicken broth on the ground, and it caught fire, and part of the school burned down. So, yeah, that's the story with stone soup at my school. Uh, and then after that, they didn't do stone soup ever again. Um, no one was hurt, though. But it, it happened in, of course, the second grade hallway, because that the second graders were the ones responsible. And, well, you know, like, they were, like, roasting the stone soup, right? Like, they had, like, an actual, like, cauldron, and they had a, an actual fire beneath the cauldron, like a campfire. Um, and so when they they spilled the cauldron, the coals from the fire went everywhere, as well as the boiling chicken broth. And so that's what ignited the, the flames. Well, anyway, the part of the school that got, like, burnt had to be replaced with bricks. Because I think it was previously wood. That's, like, one of the craziest stories at my elementary school. But yeah, no one was hurt, of course. Um, the only other story about my school happened when I was in, I was in eighth grade. Um, and it's, I'm, I'm talking about my elementary school, by the way. So, the only other notable thing that happened at my elementary school happened when I was in, like, seventh grade or eighth grade. Um, and this kid was getting off the bus. And some, some, like, person, like, was speeding and, like, ran over the kid as he was getting out of the bus. And the kid was, like, a kindergartner. And he got really hurt, but he survived and I think he made a full recovery. But that's the two things that my school are known for. Um, a kid got, like, ran over and there was a fire. So now whenever you search up my school, you'll see hundreds upon hundreds of news reports about a kid that got ran over getting out of the bus. I do actually have one crazy story. Oh no, I wasn't supposed to- Ugh, I'm gonna exit. Uh, I have one other story that specifically happened to me. Um... So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Education Galaxy. This is going to be quite a long story, but I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Education Galaxy. But essentially, Education Galaxy was this program that my school paid for. And uh, apparently they've changed. They've rebranded to Progress Learning. But they used to be called Education Galaxy. And it's like a school that it's, it's like a program that your school could buy. And it would, like, it had, like, a bunch of math resources and English and science resources. And they'd be, like, galaxy-themed. And it's, like, this website that you would log into and you'd play, like, space-themed games while, like, answering math questions. It was, like, the funnest thing ever. Don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but that's what our school had. And it was the boss. Like, they had, like, leaderboards and everything about, like, who answered the most questions and who got so many points in the video games. And, man, I was so competitive, fighting my way to the top of every list. Um, and as were with most of my interests, I made a YouTube video about it. I don't know if this was on my Striker channel or not. I think it was. But I made a video basically, like, showcasing myself playing on the website. And I kid you not, the CEO sent me... A signed letter, like, saying, hey, we saw your video. We thought it was really cool. We'd like to give you some Education and Galaxy swag. And they gave me an Education and Galaxy signed t-shirt that had, like, the CEO's signature on it. And then, um, my mom lost both of them. So, they don't exist anymore. But, man, that was my proudest moment as a fourth grader. I don't know if I ever have, if I have any pictures of it. Um, ah. Because the, the physical shirt and CEO, uh, CEO signed letter have gone missing. Um, but I wonder if I ever got a picture of it. That was my proudest moment as, like, a fourth grader. 
Like, the major ego boost to a fourth grader to have a CEO of a company watch their video. Let's see, I wonder if it is on this channel. Education. No. If I search Galaxy, probably just Mario Galaxy is gonna pop up. Yeah. Hmm. It might have been one of my old- my old channels, I don't know. What if I just search playing Education Galaxy? Well, this is the official channel. So I guess this has some of the games that you'd play on them. If you scroll down far enough, you can probably find it. Or not. Eh. Eh. Yeah, rest in peace, the Education Galaxy swag. Well, this is what the channel was, uh, this is like what the games were like. Can work on basic skills, oh man, was this stuff like tests, the best back in the day. On their individual this was the best. Gaps, oh. And have access to group instruction through the Alien Arena, giving you real time Fortunately, results. We have my video might be lost to time. Which would be very sad. Hmm. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know if my video exists. Why does Scott the Waz pop up when I search edu <laughs> Education Galaxy Instructions, Ms. Garcia? She doesn't look very happy. Yeah, I think my video has lost the time. It's very sad. If only I could find it. That's gonna bother me now that I can't find the video. I'm gonna ask my mom or my and my dad if they have any pictures of me holding the signed CE ha signed letter. Do you guys have any pictures of me holding the signed letter I got from the CEO of Education Galaxy? This was in fourth grade, by the way. We'll see, we'll see if they can dig up any pictures. I'd be surprised if they didn't get a picture of me holding it. Mario Kart Wii was released yesterday, 16 years ago. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that happened in fourth grade. And, like, the teacher got me, like, in front of the classroom and um, announced to everyone that I... and oh, that was like the best feeling in the world. I felt like a famous YouTuber. But I think my video is lost to time. It's so sad. There's so many Education Galaxy videos. Education Galaxy. What if I say Education Galaxy Noah? Hmm. I don't think it exists. The amazing Noah? I, cause I've had a bunch of different channels over the years. I think they're gone to time. This is so sad. I think, I think it's gone to time. This is so sad. I've had many channels over the years. If you search Mega Primal Ground on EX Noah Boa, you can find one of my channels. Uh, this is some old stuff. This is when I was in like second grade. When was I in fourth grade? Okay, so if I'm in 10th grade now, six years ago I was in fourth grade. So 2020, no, 2018 I was in sixth grade, I was in fourth grade. Hmm, I'm gonna try to see if I can salvage the video. So six years ago. So anything from six years ago is game. So after this channel, I think I moved on to... It's called sub to my new channel now because that's what I changed it to. But it used to be called Noah the Boa instead of Noah Boa. But now it's called sub to my new channel, the amazing channel of Noah. Huh? 
sub sub to my new channel, the amazing channel of Noah. Here we go. Uh, no, this stuff is from seven years ago. Dang it. So I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm like striking out. All right, well, here was the link to my next channel. And this is five years ago. Like, I can't find it. It, does, it doesn't exist. This is so sad. Oh, look, it's a link to my Roblox account. Would you look at that? <laughs> Hey, there you go, Mr. Creeper88. This is my old Roblox account. That's kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, believe it or not, I used to be the biggest Roblox fan. I joined in the 2018. But I, I played Roblox even before 2018. Well, sadly, I cannot find the video. It's lost the time. Well, oh well. Mr. Creeper, yeah! It's... Because, you know, creepers are cool. Creepers are the coolest thing when you're, like, nine years old. Well, unfortunately, the video that earned me recognition from the CEO of Education Galaxy has lost the time. As are the actual sign letter. I am I am still, like, sad about that to this day. Like, I, I, I would have framed it somewhere and put it in my room. But, you know, I was in fourth grade and my mom was like, No, I'm gonna hold on to this. You, you'll probably lose it. Well, that's ironic, because she lost it. Anyway, um, that's my pent-up frustration to this day. Mm, it, it's fine. As long as there's a picture of it, so I have documentation that it ever existed. Because right now, it only exists in my mind, and it kind of feels like a fever dream. But I, I'm, an, I'm not that sad about not having the actual document, as long as there's like a picture of me holding it or something like that. Because that would be pretty cool. But like, that was one of like the highlights of YouTube. And then of course, getting featured on Unlisted Leaf's video. He has 2 million subscribers. That was a uh, highlight. And then, of course, the Nintendo Network stream. Can't forget that. It's been good times. And see that. Oops. This is a this is this is a message to never give up. If I would have given up when I was like 11 years old, I never would have got all this far. Pop. Oh boy. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. What even is the Phantom Tool Booth? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, by the way, how many of you guys have Android phones? Just out of curiosity. Or Google phones. Oh, okay. Bradbury Caleb Rocks dies. Okay, well, here's your motivation to get an Android phone. Um, I'm, re I'm releasing- Oh, my flarky darky, dude. I'm releasing an app on Android. Um... Yeah, so, that's cool, I guess. So, uh, to give you context, I've talked about this a little bit in the Discord, but... I'm in AV Computer Science, and for our final project, what we have to do is create an app. And the app can be about anything we want, but it has to be like a fully-fledged, like, working app. So... I decided to make my app about information and games relating to the 53 species of deer. So go figure. 
But I, I, I was thinking, you know, if I'm going to all this work to make an app, I might as well, like, publish it for the fun of it, you know? So I looked up how much it costed to uh, release an app. Well, on, on Apple, it costs, believe it or not, $300 every year to upload an app. And on Android and Google, it only costs a one-time fee of $25 to upload an app. So you guys could be app developers. If only you had $25 to spare, you too could become an app developer. But obviously, a one-time fee of $25 is nothing compared to $300 every single year. So my app will not be coming to Apple, but it will definitely be coming to... Whoa. It'll definitely be coming to Android. So if you've ever wanted to know a bunch of information about deer, then you can download my app that's coming out sometime in the future. You're welcome, Shadow. No, I'm gonna cry. A news reporter OC. Okay, how on earth am I meant to get over there? There's just- there's a pipe somewhere. That's all I know. Oh, maybe I have to go up here. You know, that would make a lot of sense. Oh my gosh, Mario, stop being a Kachabikov. Oh. Cars and deer. Oh boy. What's the deer's worst enemy? The automobile industry. Auto automobile industry. I guess you can't throw something upwards in this. Headlights. Oh my gosh! I'm going to die inside. I one time saw a car run over a baby deer when I was getting up from the road. Your opinion on it? That's very sad, the poor fawn. We need a moment of silence for the fawn. Okay. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ah! Okay, we're safe. All is right with the world. Except for the lefties. The lefties are left handed. Any left handed people in chat? Okay, I bet it's up here. There we go. Hello, Humberto Montez. Congratulations on being left hand. Uh, am I soft locked? Uh, I think I might be soft locked. Oh wait, I can just come out through here. That's right. Okay. Good on you, Nintendo, for not having bad level design. You're left-handed? That's cool. Excuse me. Thank you. Ah, 
I always thought the aesthetic of this level was cool. There's another level like this in New Super Mario Bros. 2. I am right-handed. Well, I have I have ambidextrous tendencies. But mostly right-handed. Probably a lot of musicians have ambidextrous tendencies because, you know, you use both your hands when playing instruments. Unless you're, like, singing, then you don't use your hands, but... I don't really care. I think it's most useful to be ambidextrous, because then, you know, if your right hand accidentally gets chopped off, you can still live life pretty normally. Now, if both your hands get chopped off, then that's a little bit of an issue. Like, this looks so pretty for a Wii game. Yeah, but feet don't have thumbs. They can't grab things. They can only, like, stomp. I think you've got low standards for pretty. What do you mean? Pretty as in, like, 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 like attractiveness? Or, like, what do you mean? Yo, the news reporter shall be a deer. That's a great idea. Oh, come on. Oh, the background. Okay, that's what you meant. Uh, I think that the backgrounds are very pretty. I think they look very nice. And the background artist should be given a raise. I prefer the backgrounds in this game to Mario U. I'm mean, gonna need the ice flower for that power up, I think. Where's an ice flower when you need one? Maybe right here. Oh, crackity dackity. Yes! Hi Kirby Gamer 64. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. All right, so get rid of him. And we need to do a little bit of that. A little bit of that, and that's our star coin. Whoa. How's my evening? Um, my my evenings basically are all the same. I eat dinner and then I stream. Except not tomorrow and not Saturday. Tomorrow I'm not streaming. Because I am going on a canoeing trip with my Boy Scout troop. It's going to be very fun. I'll, I'll have plenty of funny pictures, I'm sure, to show you on Sunday when I get back. Mario, stop dying. I'm going to cry. There we go. No star coin, though. Hmm. What are you gonna do? There's many things you could do besides watching YouTube. Do you have any hobbies? You should explore your interests. 
Just like I'm gonna have to explore this level again to find the remaining star coin. Well, now you're making me feel bad. You could watch- I have a- I have a backlog of streams. No, you guys are new to the channel. There's like, probably 300 streams that you've never watched. You could randomly select one of those to watch for your evening to get your striker fix. Well, my parents said that they don't have a picture of me holding the letter from the CEO, so that's very sad. The only- uh, you, uh, my only source is unfortunately trust me, bro. Very sad. Rip. Well, that's such an oddly specific thing to, like, lie about, though. Then that's what you should do, Shadow. You should learn how to play piano tomorrow when I'm not streaming. What an enriching activity. So anywhere after here is game for the star coin. I bet it's up there. Or maybe in here. No. I bet it's up there, where the bats go. Play the spoons. Honestly, I've never played the spoons before, but... How hard is it to, like, make spoons? Like, you just gotta get, like, a bunch of glasses, right? And, like, fill them up with water. I gotta get like a, a thing in my boppy. A skibbity toilet stream? I thought you hated skibbity toilet. I'm gonna go back to like the first level and grab the thing in my and come back. Good old world one. <sighs> oh, we gotta help Toad. As much as I don't want to, I have no choice. Okay, hi, I'm back. Uh, did bro die? I don't know, did I? I guess I died to the Goomba. I'm- I'm feeling like loopy today. I don't feel real.
Uh, no, I don't have the DLC, actually. So I guess I, I'm, I'm just gonna consider the DLC not real. I'm gonna consider it... Because it's not a part of the base game. I would consider that to be, like... Like... Like, spin-off, almost. Like, kind of like Mario Maker. How Mario Maker isn't considered a mainline game. Okay, here we go. That's what I was looking for. No, the DLC in the on the 3DS. No, do not watch Ramshackle. It is the worst. I, I it's the worst show of all time. Come on, how did not get the top? Mario time. Ramshackle is the latest indie animation thing. No, I'm not speedrunning. I'm just... Uh, 100%ing. I feel so tired. <sighs> Mexico. The kids are poor. It's like the opposite of, um... The opposite of keeping up with the Kardashians. A score max out? I've never done that before, but that sounds kind of fun. What, what would that, like, entail? Get it entail? Because... What the far lobby, dude? What the Mar-a-Lago? What the Donald Trump? <laughs> the twenty twenty four elections are going to be crazy. Indie animation was cool until it everyone started doing it, and then it lost its charm. It's now trendy to do an indie animation. Not necessarily are all indie shows good just because they're indie. People are making indie animation just because that's the popular thing on YouTube right now. It was good with Amazing Digital Circus and Lackadaisy, but after they, those both blew up, now everyone and their brother is doing indie animation. Not because of passion, but because of, um, because it's trendy. And I don't know if, oh my gosh, I don't know if Ramshackle is like that because I haven't seen it, but I have a suspicion that it might be. Yeah, there you go. No offense, you kind of suck at 6-2. Well, no offense, but you kind of suck at touching grass. Hashtag bu -bu 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 burned Oh my shlooby dooby dude. Hi, April Tinny and Day. Like, just because something is an indie doesn't mean it's good. And just because something is uh, massively corporatized doesn't mean it's bad. But I feel like that's the impression that, especially on Twitter.com, um, something is good if it's good, and something is bad if it's bad. I think Amazing Digital Circus is alright. Lackadaisy is good, even. Um, 
But just because something is indie animation doesn't immediately make it, like, the best show of all time. It's okay to like things that are mass-produced and corporate. Oh, I already- I already keep a bag of grass at my desk. For eating purposes. I'm not necessarily talking about Ramshackle, but just indie animation in general. Is it not up here? That's crazy. Then where could it be? Yeah, I thought it was the pal block, but I tried the pal block and it didn't work. What are you talking about? What is a prickly pee pad? What on earth is that? You know, I don't want to know. Oh my- Oh, it's right here! I see it! Oh, it's in a pipe. It's Friday, Friday. Galbat used bat? Oh yeah? Well, Striker used... Uh, extinction. Striker used. Where do bats live? Deforestation. How many times did a car almost hit you? I've had no experiences of being hit by a car before. I have had an experience of almost drowning, though. I'll bet use take out. Well, Striker used grabbing a pair of scissors and cutting off the bat's wings slowly one by one. It was super effective. Bat fainted. Uh, I, yes, I've banned many people from live chat before. I think Sushi is the one that's been banned the most amount of times. Where's the pipe? Oh, there it is. What's- no, it was funny when you got banned. Don't- you shouldn't be mad at yourself for getting banned. It was a humorous occur occasion. Would you look at that? What power up? Well, it's too late now. I'm already at the end. Can't die now. Would you look at that? Mario time. Mario time. Oh, the red coin, I guess. But who cares? Alright, we're on to good old 
Uh, most deers actually can swim pretty well. Map Pat theory. It's just a theory, a game theory. Thanks for watching. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's a star coin. Does, does anyone know how to wake up? I'm very tired. I feel like I'm gonna fall asleep on stream. Not because the game is boring, but just because I'm tired. Indeed they are, except not this deer. I can doggy paddle, and that's about it. So I won't drown if you put me in water, but I won't be able to gracefully swim away either. Oh, there's something down there. Would you look at that? I don't even need the power block. Bop. Yay, a yellow Yoshi. How come we got a yellow one this time? Oh, well, I'm gonna leave it behind. Bye. Life is a whole wonder to explore and learn about. I guess. Yeah, Yoshi abuse. What are you gonna do about it? Call the Yoshi Crime Prevention Center? That doesn't exist? Yeah, that's what I thought. I believe this castle has a secret exit in it. Or maybe it's... I don't know. What, something around here has a secret exit. Because of the cannon. I am not a bad deer. I'm a very good deer. You know, I think this, this, this helicopter is going to come very in handy. You died as Navit? Oh my goodness. Ah! Okay, I'm alive. That's all that matters. Do not draw me doing that. Why would why would you create such a, a horrible piece of art? No, I would rather you draw the 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 cheer art than the smoking the weed art. Is there anything hiding in these, like, holes? Oh, boy. You hate cute stuff. Yeah, me too. The dark side of art. Well, then draw Darth Vader or something. I don't know. Blitzen, that is that is incorrect information. I hate to break it to you. That is not factual information. Somewhere along the line I missed something.
Monster Striker? What? What's that? Oh, it's right here. As expected, this is coming very in handy in the in this castle. What what does that mean? What do you mean by monster? Like my singing monsters like that? Oh no. I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, that did not quite work. <laughs> no! Sharp teeth and blood. You should draw me as a water deer. I don't know if you've heard of a water deer before, but they're so cool. Here, I'll show you a water deer. They have fangs. They're so cool. Look at those guys. So you could draw, like, a vampire striker. Look how cool that is. Yeah. No, it's not cute. It's very intimidating. It's supposed to strike fear into your heart. Anyway, those are the Chinese water deer. That's your fifth favorite animal now. I've never heard of gorilla tag before. What's that? Wait, I don't have any of the star coins now? That sucks. Somebody once told me the world was gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. If I had a nickel for every stream I've sung that song in a row, I'd have three nickels, which isn't a weird, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened three streams in a row. What the fluky dooky, bro? Thrice, yeah, that's. Is there a word like thrice, but for four times? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No. Why not? They should invent a word for that. Bum bum. Ah! Sands. Da 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 Instead of, like, quad. Quatrice. Oh, come on, Mario. Remember, dying is cringe. Bum, bum. Quintice, yeah. Look at us. We're little word inventors. I actually invented a word once and I got it put on um on Urban Dictionary. I don't remember what it was called though. I don't I don't remember my own word. We're gonna bang out these red coins here. Oh boy. Or not. Strikey. What? 
<laughs> no! Oh well. I guess we're going to the. I guess we're going to fight Roy with only one bit of health. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. Oh no! Oh, star coin. Nice. I almost missed it. All right, well, with two itty-bitty bits of health, we will fight Roy. I thought you said you hated cute things. How dare you make cute striker art? Right? This is illegal. It, 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 there's no freedom of speech. It carries a maximum punishment of 19 years in prison. remember this boss fight at all which is weird but I don't hmm Mario number one bye have a nice rest of your life Roy You're better than the Doug Doug at t t 2D platformers, I guess. I suppose that's a consolation prize. Help me! I'm not gonna help you, Toad. What? Okay, now where's the secret exit? Is it here? I don't know. Hi, Apollo. Videosity, we're talking about prison. Kasushi's committing the heinous crime of drawing cute striker art. It, it's, it's a crime because it's misrepresenting reality. Striker is obviously not cute. He's meant to be intimidating. He's meant to strike fear into your heart. Hence the name Striker. No, no uwu. No uwu either. All that is strictly, oh my, forbidden. <laughs> Only my eyebrows are intimidating. Well, I'm glad at least some part is intimidating. Goodbye, Big Bertha. I think canonically the name of that big fish is Big Bertha. But I'm not 100% sure about that. Whee! I think Big Bertha is such a funny name for a fish. Oh, there's nothing beyond there? Looks like there would be. Boo, boo, boo. Oh, I guess I missed this. Man, we have a trend in this stream. I think literally every single level I've played, I've missed the last Star Coin and had to replay it. Yeah. Yeah, you can indeed kill Big Bertha with the propeller. I'm consistent. What does that mean? In what way am I consistent? So there's the first star coin.
That's the checkpoint. Second star coin. And now the third star coin is game anywhere after here. Oh, that's what you mean by can. No, I had no idea. When I hear consistency, I think of like the consistency of like pancake powder. Why you pick a king rope instead of a tux? Because a king robe is far more intimidating. It shows that I hold the power in society. Because I'm the ruler of all these people. Any regular peasant could wear a suit. But no, to wear a king robe, you have to have status. And oh boy, does Striker have status. Oh, you say that now. Just you wait until I'm elected president of the United States. Do, 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 do. Well, what country do you live in? The Philippines, right? I'll become president of the Philippines. A striker wiki. Go for it. Honestly, that might actually be, like, kind of cool. You can have, like, ev like all the viewers and stuff like that on it. I'm actually, I'm, like, genuinely going to run for president in 20 years. Because I'll be old enough. 2044. I think so, Leo is me. Malaysia. That's that's like right next to the Philippines, right? I'll become president of Malaysia. I do hate being called a cat boy because it's inaccurate. I am not a cat boy. I do not go purr, meow, nia. Except when mocking those words, such as I did now. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, my Globber Schnabel. Oh, my Globber Schnabel. Pop, pop, pop. You forgot the ears? How could you forget the ears? Well, there goes the thing, my boppy. Out of the way, Big Bertha. I have important business to attend to, like finding out where the star coin is located. And you're getting in my way. Pop. 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 Yes, redesign me to make me more intimidating. Add like a scar above my eye or something like that. Okay, I'm convinced that the star coin doesn't exist. Oh, 
Ah, uh, is it up there of all the rest of the coins? A fire flower. I'm not so sure about that. So anyway, after Hira's game. Is it down here? No, it's not. Thank you for... Thank you for saying that I'm intimidating. You have just made my stream. Huzzah! I wonder if it's where the other coins are. There's like a section with a bunch of coins in the sky. Right here. No, it's not there. I bet it involves this thing, though. Come on. No, come back! Maybe it's at the very end. I don't know. Robe on or off? I don't know. Artist freedom. Freedom artist. Pop. 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 Just pick it. You let the wheel decide. How about that? The wheel is the decider of issues. Striker, stop dying! I mean Mario, not Striker. I can't speak the English language. What counts as a mainline Mario game? Uh, just look it up on Wikipedia. I'm using the exact same list that's on Wikipedia. But I could probably name them off all for you. So it's Super Mario Bros, Super Mario Bros 2, Super Mario Bros 2 The Lost Levels, Super Mario Bros 3, Super Mario Land, Super Mario Land 2 Six Golden Coins, Super Mario World, uh, then it's um, Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario Galaxy, Mario Galaxy 2, uh, Mario 3D Land, Mario 3D World, uh, Odyssey, of course, and all the new Super Mario Bros. games. I think that's about it. No, Paper Mario is not a mainline Mario game. Paper Mario is its own series. It would be classified as a spin-off. Though I am gonna play every Paper Mario game one of these days. But those days are not today. Or tomorrow. Super Mario Run? You know, I, I, I think I'll actually play that. For the fun of it. Does Super Mario Run still exist, even? I wasn't planning to play Super Mario Run, but I might as well. Okay, I have a distinct memory of Super Mario Run. So, my mom took me to, like, the mall, and she was, like, in a clothing store. And I was bored. So, she let me play Super Mario Run. And I kept dying at this level right at the end, and I raged, and I threw, like, a tantrum in the store. And I, like, threw her phone, like, across the store. <laughs> I was, like, like, seven years old or something like that. Fun.
Oh, really? It got a Mario Wonder update? I had no idea. That's actually pretty cool. Super Mario Run update. Huh. The game is now free, by the way. That's cool. Okay. Gamel to see what sushi sent me. Uwu. What? What is this? This just looks like, um... This is the first vibe I get. Muy interesante. <laughs> All right. Do not spam uwu in the chat. If you spam uwu, I will spam the ban button under your name. Yeah, that's right. You heard me. You better be quaking in fear. Don't you dare defy a direct command from your overlord, Striker. Okay, that's it. It's goodbye time. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Who wants to be next? <laughs> okay, genuinely, where is the star coin? It does not exist. I'm running out of time. Oh boy. It's in this level? No way. I already knew that though. Genuinely, it doesn't exist. But I've already checked everywhere. No, I'm not gonna search on the wiki. What, is it here? It's not here. Pop, pop. Oh! Okay. No! Hi, Videocity. Bum. Ah, bum. Yukagor? Who's that? You mean Yankagor? I've listened to a few Yankagor songs in my time. So sing along, it's such a silly song. The... I don't know the rest of the lyrics. The actor, the acrobat at the top should do a circus drop. I th it's something like that, right? Yeah, I said hi to you, Videocity. What, are you a big fan or something? Do you want me to sign your... Your... Your napkin? Your... 
I will sign your eyeball. Flooky dookie schlocky shapoo shapoo. Get good? Wow. How about you get, uh, you get, you get, uh, grass on your feet. Touch grass. That's my favorite insult. Pop, pop. We should do a rum hack of Mario Wii where my voice replaces all of the bars. Oh, here's a secret exit. This way. Okay, Videocity, I'm about to respond to your your live chat with something that you're not going to like. <clears throat> okay, Boomer. Would you look at that? I think I remember the lyrics. Um, so sing along. It's such a silly song. The the acrobat who's waiting at the top should do a circus hop. I think that's how it goes. How did you come back? How I I pressed the band button. How did you come back to life? This isn't possible. Ban again? That's a great idea. Don't call me that! No! Refer to me as His Majesty, His Majesty King Striker. But not that. How old is Blitzen, Blitzen X-Mass? Oh, this is a cool level. We lo I love motion controls. Everyone says motion controls are confusing, but I really like them. Like, people always say that, like, oh, I can't believe Nintendo forced us to use motion controls, but I always find the motion, motion controls very fun. Oh. No! No! Ugh. Hadoukisha! Awesome. Thirty-eight? What? That is an extremely old age. What would you do if I unsubbed? Uh, bad things would happen. Very bad things. So, how old are you, Videocity? Yeah, you get antlered. Thirty-two, right. What do you mean, thirty-two out of eight? What do you, what do you mean by that? I thought, I thought, no! 
Oh, leap here, I see. Oh, hi, yes, yay, yes. Okay, so 2024 minus 38. Oh my gosh, 1986? You're almost as old as Mario. Uh, yeah, if you get a game over, you start all the way over to your last save. But a death does not equal a game over. Improper fractions. What do you mean I'm not good at math? I'm very good at math. I bet you don't know what the square root of 128 is. Incorrect. It is not 64. It is not 16. I don't think. Is it? No, 16 times 16 is 136, right? No, I need the star coin. Awesome. No, for no. It's not a rational number. There's your hint. Wait, what actually is the root of one of, of one twenty eight? Isn't it like two root? Eight? I don't know. Simplified root 128. Oh, okay. I, I was, it's eight root of two, not two root of eight. It's the same thing. There you go. Eight root two. Okay, how am I meant to get up there? Oh, like that. Okay. I did it! And now I just gotta survive. Which should be pretty easy, because we're at the end of the level. No! My friend connected with you on Street Pass during your server shutdown stream. Huh? On Street Pass? How did how did your friend connect with me on Street Pass? Street Pass is like where you like come into like physical contact with the other person, right? Okay, no dying challenge begins now. Yeah, Street Pass is still around. I made a video on it. It's on the channel. Eh. I have a few videos on my channel. It might have been a fake you. Interesting. I don't remember street passing anyone on Animal Crossing New Leaf. I played Animal Crossing New Leaf, but oh my goodness. I didn't play... All I did on Animal Crossing New Leaf was visit Dream Towns. I didn't do any street pass. Do 
Do you stream at all? No, I don't stream on this channel. Being a VTuber is what fatherless people do. As they say. No video, I see that was not a scream. I'm too mature to get upset at a simple video game. Oh, come on, Mario. Oh, we're playing New Leaf. Yeah, for sure. You're very ominous, V3X. This will be my last message about this. You're quite ominous, I must say. But yes, I was playing I was playing Animal Crossing New Leaf. Oh my oh Okay. Oh, what's in what's in here? Yeah, we all hate Carmen on the Striker channel. Worst viewer of all time. If I die now, I'm gonna die in real life. Ooh! Okay. See good exit? Awesome. We love secret exits, so that's what leads to the canon. No, not an order release date, just random order depending on what I feel like. Like I started with 64, like 64 Sunshine Galaxy, and then it was like 3D World, and then Galaxy 2, and then Mario Wonder, and then 3D Land, and now Mario Wii. Like we're just going in random order. It started out in, just by, just by chance, because I started out by playing 3D All-Stars. So that's why it started out in release order, but then it got off. We're talking smack about you, Carmen. That's right. Food recommendations for breakfast? Anything but venison. Uh, Kamek is such a lame name. I pre I prefer Magic Koopa. Who calls him Kamek? Apparently, some people. I mean, I gotta beat the level the normal way. Sushi San Diego. Yes, I am gonna 100% the lost levels. And I heard to 100% the lost levels, you had to beat. You have to beat the game eight times, so you can unlock special worlds. And as far as 100%ing goes, I'm not gonna allow myself to use any warp pipes for the original game or for, or for the lost levels because that I'd, I'd be skipping levels. Yeah, 100 percent and it's the hardest Mario game of all time, people say, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. But basically, like, there's World A, World B, and World C, and you only unlock those after you beat the main game, like, eight times. So it's a lot of fun. 
So that's gonna suck. Like, I'm gonna save that one for a while. I'm gonna probably do all the... I'm, I'm doing Mario Wii. And then I'm gonna do Mario 64 DS. And then I'm gonna do the rest of the new Super Mario Bros. games. And then probably... um, Probably... What's it called? Um, Mario World. Mario World is such a good game. Like, Mario World is on par with new Super Mario Bros. Wii. In my opinion. Mario World is so good. I might actually play Mario World after, um, after 64 DS. I know, right? Before this challenge, the only Mario games that I had ever 100%ed were World, Galaxy, and Mario U. Those were the three games that I had 100%ed prior to this challenge. And of course, I'm 100 percenting them again, you know, so I can say I did it on stream, but... For the rest of these games, I'm just going in blind. Like, a good majority of these games I had never even played, let alone beaten. Like, 64 and Sunshine, and 3D World, and... Never played the Mario Land games either, nor have I played the Lost Levels. Hi, Candied Cat. Who is Neil Voss? You know, Neil Voss is not my favorite Neil. My favorite Neil is Neil CC Rega. Any Neil CC Rega stands in the chat? There's gotta be at least one. Oh my goodness. Do not die. If I didn't have antlers, I'd be very sad. It's raining outside. Oh, well, I already played Sunshine. You should go look in the playlist. There's like eight streams of me playing Sunshine. There's, there's a, a YouTube short of me raging on the pachinko level, which I think is pretty funny. Let's see if I can find it. Shorts. I haven't uploaded a YouTube short in forever. Uh, 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 where is it? It doesn't exist, actually. Oh, here it is. Easiest Mario level of all time. There's no way people say this is the hardest level in the game. Oh! No! Easiest Mario level. Yeah, so there you go. <laughs> Fun. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when days are. I thought it was days are gray, not days are sad. Dun 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 dun. Bada bada bada. Why are you hungry for pizza? I don't know. Fulfill your hunger for pizza. Go get some Domino's or something. My favorite ever pizza is... Okay, controversial opinion. My favorite pizza is the following toppings. Cheese, broccoli, mushrooms, and black olives. That is the best pizza you will ever eat. I kid you not. Yeah, get it right, sushi. You call yourself a real uh, sunshine fan? Nah, you're just a faker. I'm not a pepperoni fan either, but you gotta have more substance than just cheese. And, in my opinion, the the tried and true combination for me is mushroom, broccoli, and black olive. It's the best pizza you'll ever have.
Who even needs a raft? Am I right? Oh, I guess I need a raft. Oh, no, I don't. Uh, well, for, for, for future reference, if the stream randomly cuts out, it's my probably my power going out. Because it is extremely heavily raining outside of my house. Like, the rain is pouring down. Yeah. All the way to the castle. It feels like there should have been, like, an extra level along that path. Don't eat my power! I need my power to play the video game! And actually, I believe I need to go through the secret exit, because there's, like, a hidden star coin there. What do you mean, the castle in the air? TPTB reference? What is TPTB? The Phantom Tool Booth. I've never heard that. I I did not think Mario U was that good. I think Scott the Waz put it the best. He said it was like junk food, but for games. I've never heard of that before. Oh, wait, no, I think it's Mario U that has the behind the castle. I think this is just a shortcut. Yeah, because Mario U has, like, a thing where you can go behind the castle and there's, like, a secret. But that's not in this game. Mm -hmm. Bum -bum. Bum -bum. Huzzah! Huzzah kata! Ice flower, pretty please, with a with a with a frost on top. 1970. That's an old movie. Ow! I've been critically wounded. Ooh. Ba, ba, da, da, da. This is very risky. Awesome. We love organs. Huzzah! Oh, I barely made that. Oh, the, the, the P-Switch special level was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it. I guarantee you the star coin's up there somewhere. Just don't know how to get up there. Dun dun da 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 dun. Bum da 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 da. Oh, like that, I bet. This would be easier if I I was in multiplayer and someone could carry me up there. Ooh, ice flower. Do, 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 do. Oh, I bet I could jump on those guys. Oh, wait, no, the star coin's right there. Oh, okay. It's not even on the spiky area. That was so easy. Ah! Oh, by the way, one thing I was going to show you guys. I forgot to show you guys this um, on Monday. I was going to. 
but I forgot. I was going to show you one of my favorite Warrior Cats animations. This is the best animation of all time, and it features a solar eclipse. This is like one of my favorite videos on the I'm entire YouTube platform. Really you guys need to watch this video right now. I wonder if anyone mentioned the solar eclipse in the comments. Yeah, someone did. <laughs> Such a good animation. Anyway, um, it has a solar eclipse right about somewhere. Here it is. And everyone's like freaking out. <laughs> He's like, ha 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 ha. Anyway, such a good animation. Better than anything the Wings of Fire fandom could produce. Am I right? Or am I right? You sent a picture in my DMs. That's ominous. A picture could mean many things. Wow, it's a hen. All right, is that a rooster? One of the two. Wave. Jew rim I didn't I didn't like play with any players on I, I like I didn't play with any like players on um Animal Crossing New Leaf. I just like visited dream towns. Uh, I don't know if you play Animal Crossing New Leaf, but a dream town is like where you visit someone else's town, but they're not actually there. It's like a dream version of their town. If that makes sense. But I didn't like actually play with anyone. But I don't recognize the username Jurim. Wear a dog collar? Why would I do that? I, I I would never commit such an action. Maybe maybe if you paid like one thousand dollars. Oh come on. Roy is most likely to be in an emo band. Also, hello, Zeph, your cat. You guys need to watch the, the Everything Moves map. That map is responsible for making me a Warrior Cats kid. I remember watching it, like, the, the day it came out. I was camping when it came out. And... I, like, watched it on repeat for, like, I kid you not, two hours straight. <laughs> oh, well, I did friend a bunch of people, um, on my 3DS. So I'm probably, I probably am friends with her on the 3DS. Because I, part of my goal was to... Before the Nintendo Network shut it down, I wanted to get 100 friends on my friend list, because that's the maximum. And I was able to do that. So it is definitely possible that I friended your friend. VR chat? I hate VR chat. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. I, kn I did no such thing, Sushi. That is fake news. Believe it or not, I'm a prominent anti-furry. I could never do such a thing.
It is clickbait. Fake news. You are fake news. I like the, the fire bros and the ice bros and the boomerang bros and all the variations of the bros. I did it! Why would I wear a dog fursuit? Why not a deer fursuit? Hmm? That would make more sense, right? World's easiest star coin question mark. That is incorrect. That is fake news. It is not true that wolves are better than deer. I wonder what the AP graders are gonna think when they see my project. They're like, what is this kid's obsession with deer? Mmm. Extensive information on all 53 species of deer, including all perfectly sorted, you got games involving the deer. Ah, uh, this then an, a, 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 an entire app dedicated to cervids. What what are the AP graders gonna think? How's the book been going, Vinny? Ow. Beat him up! There we go. Beat up the small child. Yeah! I mean, I guess it's kind of like a Beyblade. Why can't you join the Discord? Would you look at that? You should step outside, get some fresh air. <laughs> Ludwig. Ooh, ah, ah. What? This is one of my least favorite worlds in the game, to be honest. Alright, world five now. Mexico. Mexico. Wait, what are you doing, Sushi? I didn't- I didn't catch that. I'm very familiar with this level. I have distinct memories of playing this. Because of these guys. I don't know why I remember the, this enemy so specifically, but I do. And then I remember I felt like a genius um, when I found some star coin in the level. Yeah, here. I remember feeling like, like a genius when I found that star coin. No! <laughs> it's okay. Everything is okay. Let the gaming commence. I love the forest ambiance in these levels. 
And once again, the background artist does an amazing job. No power up for me? Okay. I see how it is. There we go. My street my sleep schedule is very volatile. I'm nocturnal. I sleep during class and I am awake at like 5 a.m. Doing various deer activities such as munching on leaves and running into cars. Hello, every deer. Hello, valued member of the deer community. Awesome. Mario time. Mario time. Watching this stream is making me nocturnal because you start streaming after midnight. <laughs> Are you European? Wait, no, you're Australian. You're something. Oh no. 1v1 me, bro. Probably not. I don't have many friends that would be willing to sit down and be part of a furry uwu live stream for like. An extended period of time. Did Toad just say guitar? Guitar! Yeah. Are you a thing? I suppose so. United Kingdom. <sighs> Why are there- there's so many United countries. The United Kingdom, the United States, the United Arab Emirates. So many United countries. All the United countries are extremely wealthy, too. I see there's a Star Queen. Awesome. The United Federation. I'm glad I have been thing approved. I could have sworn this giant wiggler level was a thing from Mario U. Not Mario Wii. No dying challenge, impossible. Impossible. Pop. Pop. Do 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 do. Oh, no. Yes, War is king. I am insane. But not as insane as people that don't like the Vox Continental 73 key combo organ. I would do many things for one million dollars. Uh, you know, go 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 all out. Cat ears, maid outfit, uwu niya ASMR, ten hours. I- I would be living good after that. A billion dollars. I- you could do a lot with a billion dollars. 
I got no shame. What are the odds you become a good author? Well, what are the odds that you keep trying and you don't give up? As long as you keep trying and don't give up, uh, you'll pretty much guaranteed to succeed eventually. You don't care what it is, you do it for a billion dollars. What about going two billion dollars in debt? Would you do that for a billion dollars? Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, that's exactly what I just said, Vex. <laughs> Running from debt the rest of your life doesn't sound very fun. 20 copies of Smash Bros. Brawl? That's crazy. No! Oh! Ooga booga! Ah uh, ah uh, ah! Uh. Okay, I survived. No, don't ever accept defeat. Never back down. Ooh, usually. Check my DM, okay? Malaysia6103. Oh, it's Picto Chat. That's cool. Wave. All right. Oh wait, no, it's not Iggy time. Oh wait, it is Iggy time because that level's locked. All right, Iggy. Iggy is probably my second or third favorite of the Koopalings. No, I am not master. I am I am a king. I I master has weird connotations that people might take the wrong way. What is your favorite cereal? Ah, not the tildy. Anything but the Tildy. <laughs> Zootopia. <laughs> I heard they were making a Zootopia too. Honey bunches. I've been a fan of um cornflakes since day one. That's crazy. Corn flakes are the best. We in 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 statistics class, we are taking a poll of what our favorite cereals were. And um my teacher asked me and I said, "My favorite cereal is corn flakes." And, and she's like, are, "Are you serious?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And she's like, "Well, you kind of you kind of you kind of seem like a corn flakes guy." And I was like, "Oh, Do I- do I just, like, give off cornflakes energy or something like that? Bum bum. Cornflakes are the best. You sent me a DM. That's crazy. I shall... Ow! Oh, a star coin. Really, I'm normal? Most people are deer furries? I was not aware of that.
Oh, I like Raisin Bran too, but not as much as Corn Flakes. What do you mean 100% NPC? Those are objectively good cereals. Cornflakes is the best. Um, not as a part of this challenge, but I do plan to play through and 100% all of the Paper Mario games, as well as all of the Mario and Luigi RPGs. But as a part of this series, I'm just 100%ing every mainline Mario game. Like, if I was ever convicted of, like, mass murder, I- I would want my last move to be cornflakes. Oh, come on, Iggy. My favorite battle with Iggy is when he has, like, the chain chomp pets. Is that in this game, or is that in Mario Wii U? That might be in you, I don't know. But he gets, like, these pet chain chomps that, like, chase you around. Uh, no, not the Donkey Kong games. <laughs> Mario teaches typing. Uh, I don't feel particularly sad about missing Mario teaches typing. Hate to break it to you. Bro is an Olympic long jumper. No, I've never played Rhythm Heaven. Help me! Okay, can I play the raft level now? Help me! I can. It would not be a new Super Mario Bros. game without a raft over poison or raft over lava level. You know what? I'm going to take the actual conclusive test to see what main I am in TF2, even though I don't play TF2. What TF2 main are you? Personality quiz. Into your name, Striker. How good are you aiming with weapons? Awful. <laughs> How good are you aiming with projectile? Not very good. I'm not I I'm not very skilled with uh 3D shooter no first person shooters. Your team is on the final point, but the invisibility pops and invents wait. Your team is pushing in you are team. We love the grammar. Is pushing in on the final point, but the enemy team pops an invisibility to invincibility to stop you. What do you do? I would say we would stall. If your team loses a round, who do you blame? Uh... The entire team. I guess my teammates. <laughs> Which of the following suits your play style? Ambush sounds like fun. You're attacking in the round stars. Where are you? Yeah, probably that. You and your team are pushing out of spawn and you see an enemy sniper eyeing your team's medic. What do you do? I don't know. I would try to kill the sniper. That would make sense, right? You turn a corner and come face to face with a heavy. He seems new to the game, so he might be an easy kill if he doesn't kill you first. What do you do? Try to kill him? <laughs> what classes are you best at fighting? I don't know. Eh. Your team has just encountered a very tough defense. Both teams have one of each class and all have about equal skill. You have 60 seconds to finish the mission. 
I would say don't try to kill the enemy. Try to focus on the objective. There we go. Medic. Really? I'm the, the, the dude that, like, did the heart transplant. Being the main healer of the team. Ow! Ow! I just fell out of my chair. Ow, I'm in pain. Okay, I'm I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I need a medic. <laughs> no, I don't. Being the main healer of the team, you are the savior of your allies and the downfall of your enemies. Unleash an uber charge after healing for a while to give you and your patient invulnerability. When 100% critical hit chance, high healing and knockback resistance. Blah, blah, blah. Well, there you go. Apparently, I'm a medic man. Awesome. Oh, these guys are the worst. These guys, for some... I don't know... Oh, no. mm. I don't know why, but these guys, for some reason, remind me of my fourth grade teacher. But I'm not good at aiming. I'm very bad at first person and third person and any type of shooter. That's why in Splatoon, I play the roller, because I can't aim with a gun. What what is the medic even doing TF2? Heal people? Ah! Eh. What is ink wall? A second person shooter? It wouldn't that be like where you shoot at the 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 you the player? I don't even know what that would look like. <laughs> Dear Screech ASMR, what's your obsession with ASMR? I get a bunch of weird ASMR videos in my recommended sometimes. It's like, Catboy boyfriend tells you how much he missed you and purrs in your ear. ASMR, 10 hours. Like, I get that stuff in my recommended all the time and I don't know why YouTube thinks I want to watch that. Because never before have I watched a... ASMR video. Oh, I don't want a star. Come on. Come back. You stupid idiot. There you go. Oh. <laughs> No, it is not what I watch. That is not what I spend my time watching. We're all having a laugh until I look at the... The what? The video title. Oh, no! Oh, no! So I'm not the only one that gets those weird videos in my recommended. Oh, 
Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, come on. I hate these guys. These bramble guys are the worst. Oh, okay, sure. I did it! Oh, sweet, Star Coin. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That that's like actually funny. Funniest thing that has ever been said on a striker live stream. Animal Kingdoms, I get it. We all know that I'm the superior king. Rap battle. We had an AI rap battle once. Ah! Okay. Awesome. What does feathers on fleek even mean? I, I don't know what Chad GPT was talking about when it said that. What even is a fleek? Fleek definition. Fleek means flawlessly styled, good looking. So fleek just means like stylish, I guess. Stylish feathers. Here's the raft level I was thinking of. I thought the other level was the raft one, but this is the real one. Would not be a Mario game without some kind of raft level. 2D Mario loves these, especially new Super Mario Bros. Rest in peace to the parakeet. I remember parakeets because of the Nintendo 3DS sound application and the Nintendo 3DS photo application. They both had like parakeets as their mascot for some reason. What do you mean Mario Wonder isn't a Mario game? It, it, it has Mar it literally has Mario in the title. Pop. Ow. Murder! Bum, ba, da, da, da. No! Oh! <laughs> Woo!
No mushroom. Oh, what a, what a, okay. What a circumstance. It bothers me how you can't shoot the shells upwards in this game. Another AI rap battle. Maybe, but it's not as fun for me because like you're not coming up with your own lyrics. You're just like feeding the AI. Mario Wonder doesn't have a raft level? I could have sworn it did. If you're the president, what would you do? Yeah, that's a great question. I would do many things for our great country. I don't know if I can think of any one thing I'd like immediately do. I would just try to like work with everyone. Work with the Democrats, work with the Republicans. Because something that our politics is today, it's so divided. So I would try to work on like a bipartisan stuff. Well, I guess I missed a star coin along the way. Mukbang video was. Well, I don't get it. What's so good about a mukbang video? Well, I don't think any politicians really want bipartisan stuff. Neither Biden nor Trump. <sighs> I would try to work on like... Okay, one thing that I'm like... I'm pretty moderate on most issues, but... Um, I, the one issue that I'm, like, a little radical on is the climate and the environment. Like, I would immediately, like, get us all, all the climate treaties. I would absolutely sign all those. And then, of course, bipartisan leader, uh, um, uh, bills. Oh, I'm going camping too this weekend. It's okay. If you don't have any internet, you can just think about me because I don't have any internet either. We'll be suffering together. But I, I would definitely get us involved in all the climate agreements. Um, I would try to make friends with Russia. And China, too. Not necessarily allies, but not friends. I mean, I mean, not enemies. There we go. My internet provider? I have no idea. Yeah. 
Bop. 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 What do you mean, idealistic? There is one fatal flaw of the monarchy and it's in your DMs. What is it? One significant... Okay. I'm not reading all that. <laughs> Ugh. I'm very tired. I'm gonna, like, actually fall asleep on stream. Oh, but it also wouldn't be a new Super Mario Bros. game without a flying level. Where you ride on... animals. These levels are always the most stressful. I am not going to Mimir. You should go Mimir. Yeah, it's 6.53 for you. It's 9.53 for me. The banjo is going crazy. <laughs> what the sh Mount Fuji, bro? <laughs> Let's try that one more time. Really, I'll recharge if I eat the electricity. Well, then, unfortunately, the power to the house and the stream would be cut. What? Okay. I was gonna say. No! I hit the box and fookied me fooky. You're a minute in front of me. Well, what what state are you in? Make more emotion? I'll show you my favorite emotion. It's called disappearing from existence. Ah! Indiana is a pretty cool state. I've never been there. I'm from North Carolina. I imagine that this is canonically what Sushi the bird dragon looks like in real life. World 7 is... Probably my least favorite world in the game. Wait, no, but this is world five. <laughs> like these green guys. That's what I imagine a bird dragon would look like. It's almost like a flying manta ray. No, my box! Dang it. Two fifty seven AM or PM?
Oh! No, he came back up! Oh, I forgot about the movies in Peach's Castle. I forgot that those existed. Have you ever tried making an OC that doesn't have any trauma and had a great childhood? No! Come back, you, 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 you chestnut. Oh. Uh. <sighs> so much for being nocturnal. Lock into an insane asylum. So a good childhood, but not a good adulthood, I guess. Vex, are you a are you an insane furry too? Oh, okay. Add that to the list of star coins I've accidentally gotten. That's like the fifth star coin that I've accidentally gotten. Quite. What what species of furry? Pop, pop, pop. Pop. White tiger, that's cool. Grr. Well, apparently I missed the star coin. Unless it's right here. Oh! Oh! I don't see it. I guess I'm going to replay the level. Oh, whoa. When the imposter is sus. Ooh, woo! <laughs> And there's the castle. Where the fun stuff happens. The book, the year is 1890 and he's Mexican. Name him Alonso. Alonso. Hmm. Uh, last name? I don't know me many Mexican last names. Go for, like... Oh my goodness. I don't know any Mexican last names. Look up Mexican last names. Sanchez. How could I forget about Sanchez? Aleman. Aleman means German in Spanish. Huzzah! No! Yes! No! Your man, not German. You spell it with an A. Hey, 
It's like if I said Mexican. Yeah, I'm a Mexican. <laughs> I'm a German. Oh! Exactly, that's the point I'm highlighting. So if you think that's disrespectful, then it it, it would follow that it's disrespectful to to um spell German incorrectly. <laughs> Videosity, are you a real person? What 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 is your first name? Uh, I'm I'm getting a certain name vibes, and I'm curious if the vibes I'm getting are your actual name. American. Well, some people say I'm American, I'm American, I'm American. I don't know. No, I need the shlooby. Oh. You haven't eaten dinner? You should go eat dinner. No! What is a sploinky spunkler? What is that? You have no clue. Yeah, me neither. As long as you don't make it a deer. Okay? Okay, capiche. You should make it a, a, a human sushi roll. Yeah, that's what I thought. You better feel scared. Make it a human sushi roll. Oh, I need the box of fun. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh. The fun box. Woohoo! No vital organs. Yeah, who needs a kidney or a brain or an esophagus or a, a pancreas or a, a a what are other organs? A lung. Pop, pop, pop. If you make it a deer, very bad things will happen to you. I warn you. Very, very bad things. You are warned. No! The ice flower! I do own the deer species. I am the king of the deer. Okay, so anywhere after here should be the last star coin. Hmm. A pal block?
Oh, get it, get it! Yes! Awesome. <laughs> I suppose he does. Mario <laughs> time! Mario time! What is a heel leg? What what does that mean? Oh, I have no choice but to fight this piranha. Alright. 1v1 me, bro. I show speed. That person is very interesting. I have seen stories and heard uh read articles. Striker, the deer doesn't have any trauma. How about instead of mental trauma, you give your characters severe uh, head trauma, brain trauma? They got dropped on concrete when they were two years old. What what would Striker's backstory be though? Run! Like, like a real life? That's interesting. Ow. What is Lethal Company? Ah! Okay, we're all good in the hood. Oh no, I missed the star coin. I must... Uh, I'll just do the boss fight and I'll come back. Yeah, you better be scared of Striker. That's more like it. No more, no more scrungly spunker. And more, oh no, the king. Is that a pyro reference? Oh, here's the Chain Chomp pet battle I was talking about. Look at me, I'm a TF2 fan. I can understand a TF2 reference. Ah! Get him! Yes! He's so dramatic. Iggy is so me. He's so me. Mario number one! Mario number one.
Okay, but I need to get the other star coin. And I still gotta do the ghost house. Welcome to World 6, which I've already beaten. Well, now all worlds have been unlocked. Oh, come on. Are the vines gone now that I beat Iggy? Because that's cool. I'm going to die here. Oh, okay, I didn't. <laughs> Reading's okay for me when I'm reading one of two books. Yes, Warrior Cats is one of them. I'll see if you can guess the other one. Bum, bum. Absolutely not Wings of Fire. How many hunt deer book I can ever? Why would I need that knowledge? But I'm bum 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 bum. It's like a choose your own adventure ghost house. Oh boy. Oh dear. Like, if I, if I was gonna... Oh, that's the level? If I was gonna starve to death, then I would hunt deer. In any other circumstance, no. If I was gonna starve to death, and the only way to stay alive would be to hunt a deer, then I would. I'll give you a hint. It's approximately 2,500 pages long. It's a good time. Canal bull. <laughs> the book rhymes with bull. It rhymes with canal bull. <laughs> War and peace, no. Absolutely not. How did I die? I was just swimming in the water. That's crazy. It's a good time. Okay, Mario, no being stupid challenge. Impossible. Oh. 
Ba-dum, bum, ba. What new, what new games are coming to SNES? That was a free star coin. Hit 10k or have deer added to Minecraft. So if I choose deer added to Minecraft, I would never ever have the chance of getting to 10k. Is that what you're saying? Another hint. That, those are very good hints. 2,500 pages and rhymes of canal bull. It should be very obvious. It's also the most sold book of all time. Or maybe not the most sold. The most read book of all time. The most printed book of all time. There you go. Oh, like if I get 10k right now. I'd rather have deer added to Minecraft. I'm patient. I could wait like a year to get 10k. To kill a mockingbird? No. Have you read To Kill a Mockingbird? It's a book about, like, racism. It says the N-word, like, 50 times. Or something like that. Well, my- when we read the book, it said the n-word like 50 times, and my teacher had to like skip over the, the n-word because he was like reading it out loud. What's Fortinity or Bebeji? What's that? Well, the book says it a lot more than once. Let's let's ask the internet. How many times is the N word said into? My official guess is eight. Into kill a mockingbird. It doesn't say how many times it's used. Hmm. Some amount of times. No, not Mockingbird by Eminent. It's a book. We're talking about books. This is such a sushi the bird dragon moment. Ba dum bum bum. Wah 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 wah. Well, I'm talking about the book. We're all talking about different stuff. Uh, I just mean that this is a moment that is typically associated with the acts, thoughts, feelings, behaviors, or actions of the Sushi the Bird Dragon. Alright. No! Oh, 1v1 me, bro. It's- the book is called To Kill a Mockingbird. It's a very famous book. 
It's considered one of the classics. It's the book that the movie is based on. I guess you'll never know, Vinny. The world may never know. Middle, middle star coin. Middle, middle star coin. Ba, 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 da, 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 da. If you see a 1,000 pound metal machine car hurling at you at 25 mile per hour, what do you do? Uh, uh, ah, that's uh, scary. I, I'm just gonna stop here and hopefully it'll turn the other way. Oh, would you look at that? Indeed, there you go. Ding, ding, ding. Um, the Bible is actually a very interesting book. Like, uh, I just read this passage in the Bible about this woman that got raped and then she died and her husband cut her up into like eight pieces and mailed her all across Israel. It's very entertaining stuff. Yeah, for real. Uh, at the end of Judges. Let's see. End of Judges, woman gets cut up into eight... No, it's 12 pieces. Yeah. Levite's concubine. Upon his return, he carved her body up into 12 pieces, which he sent to the 12 tribes of Israel, demanding revenge. And then they fight Benjamin, which is not a person, but it's a tribe, actually. Benjam Benjaminites. Feminist interpretation. Anyway. <laughs> Which Bible? All of them. But it's specifically at the end of Judges. She got raped. That's when a bunch of uh, people take a person and uh, without their consent have sex with them. It's a thing that happens a lot in the Bible actually. Ah! Well, the Bible can also be very confusing at some times, especially like in Genesis. Whose Bible? Well, there's many different translations. The one I'm reading is the New International Version. But anyway, the reason that that scene was shown in the Bible um, was to show that, like, the Israelite people are very not good people, and they need a king to civilize them. And so I assume that sets the stage for, like, David or someone like that to come in. I don't know. I, I, I read the first page of Ruth. Ruth is one of the shortest books in the Bible. It's only, like, three pages long. Compared that to, like, Deuteronomy, which is, like, 40 pages long. More than that, like, 80, I'd say. Like, Deuteronomy and Leviticus are some of the most boring books in the Bible you'll read. Some of the most boring works of literature you'll read. 
Like, it reads like a textbook. Too easy. Indeed he is, Vax. Since when did I have a wiki page? A $500 or euro super chat. You should super chat 500 euros right now. Yay! It's on Phantom. Really? I have a... Really? Striker Wiki. Phantom. This? Who is this? This is not me. This is some weird show. What's the what's the link to the wiki? Can you can you DM me the link? Oh, on Wikitubia. Yeah, yeah, that. Striker dear. When you search up strike look at all this stuff. I dominate the internet. Oh, this is the word I made, by the way. This is the word I made. Scatamoosh. That, that's the word I invented on the Urban Dictionary. Scatamoosh. I dominate, I dominate the internet. Would you look at that? What the heck is this? What, what is this? An elite tower. Okay. Oh, look at all these beautiful thumbnails. What is that? Poor, poor, poor animal. What is that? Some interesting stuff here. Interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. I will not catch you tomorrow or the day after. I'll see you on Sunday for beating the base game. And then on Tuesday, we shall do the special world, World 9. And I think I might finish Mario Wii a day early. I don't know when I scheduled myself to beat it. I scheduled myself to beat Mario Wii on Tuesday. No, I scheduled myself to beat it on Wednesday. Um, but at the pace I'm going right now, I'm going to finish it on Tuesday. So I guess I can start Pokemon Soul Silver a day early. So that's cool. Or continue Pokemon Soul Silver a day early. Alright, thanks for watching, everyone. Goodbye. Well, I might Mimir, but I might also uh, watch the Bad Batch with my dad if he's awake. Anyway, goodbye. Because I've missed like three episodes of it. Adios.